Right, I thought I would make this wee video just to give you a wee bit of an insight into what it actually takes to put a SVO body kit onto a Range Rover L405. Um, this is the autobiography model. So it had the red colour coded bumpers. Which were like this. And now we're going for the SVO look. So the kit was quite a good kit. Comes in a big massive box as you can see. And it comes with all the trims, mouldings, comes with all the plastic um, inserts for the bumpers, the panels for the covering up the rear bumper and side vents, etc. Um, it's a mixture of prime bits and just bare plastic. So the likes of these bits, which were supposed to be black gloss, aren't. Um, so what we're going to have to do is we prep these. I already have prepped these. I've sort of broken this video about halfway through the job. So you use uh, grey scotch bright and that scratches the surface and that allows the paint to grip to the surface with plastic primer first and then it's primed and then it's painted. So a lot of times you'll see people with bumpers and stuff on the road, um, mirrors and things with paint peeling off or when they hit them with a power wash it starts to peel off. That's down to bad prep. That's where it hasn't been scotch bright and prep bright. So, Getting the prep right is the uh, is the main thing for a good job. So again, we have these are the plastic door mouldings that run down the side of the vehicle. The three pieces you can see the shine's been taken off with the scotch pad. Pretty quick, good. It's actually quite good quality stuff. Um, rear bumper. It's going to be two tone, so this section here is going to be black, uh, gloss black, and then this section is going to be the Ferrand's red, like the car. Um, again, all grey scotch breaded, ready to go. So, what I'll do is I'll panel wipe this down and I'll just paint over the edges with the red. And um, there's no sense in painting the whole bumper red, it's just basically a waste of paint. And once you're doing a high volume of paint, it, it matters, it costs. So, um, front bumper. This is a different front bumper, this is a lot deeper. It has uh, big vents in the front and it actually comes in two or three pieces. So you have an insert that goes here and this is your toe eye cover. Again, bottom half of here and right round is going to be black gloss. Top half is going to be Ferrand's red. So you've got me in the process of setting it up. Um, also, what happens with this car is, so when it's mounted to the car, this edge here, is up against this edge of the car and I've had a Range Rover Sport previously and the Ferrand's red even with the correct colour code there's still two or three different shades and um, this is a 2013 car as well so there's been a bit of weathering and stuff on the paint so I love scanned it and what I'll do then is I'll blend the red paint out there was a wee bit of a chip so we'll bring the red up Basically around here a bit of a blow in and basically down this section here. These are the only two places on this body kit where they touch together. So if that was the original red and my new red didn't meet, you would have a difference in colour. Even if it's the same shade. So this is what um, you have to do with a metallic colour. Um, basically, slight bit of red here, slight bit of red here, keeping it down from the top here so it doesn't meet the bonnet. And then we'll lacquer out that whole wing. And that's on both sides. Again, just a wee blend around the front corner and down the bottom section. And then that'll be it. So that means the colour will all be perfect. Um, this kit uses your old uh, squirter covers and washers. That's the washers for the headlights. Uh, it also uses the actual squirters themselves and then parking sensors and stuff like that as in. Uh, this car does come with a camera system that looks around. So we had the um, cut in to the front panels, which are over here. These sections actually insert. So you have cameras uh, which mount into here at the back. So we had to blend that in, even though that holder at the back was there, the, the front of it was closed over. So it comes that if you need to fit it, you have to do a wee bit of modding to it. Again, this is the sort of thing when it goes to a body shop, um, 
you, the, the, we, we, we items like this take a lot of time. You can see where the washer covers were taken from. And basically that's where the cameras came from. They were mounted there. So they look around the corner as you drive up the junction. So I'm going to stop that there and get the rest of the prep done. And then we'll let you see once we've done a bit of painting or in the process of painting. And I'm also intending to show you it being built up and basically the finished our article. Uh, also have to fit a tow bar at the same time. So time dependent, we'll see if we can get a couple of videos made and I'll just give you a wee bit of insight as to what it actually takes to color code and fit a body kit.